Next problem, so solve y double prime minus 10y prime plus 25y is equal to 0. So, second, order homogeneous linear differential equation yung problem. So, magiging siyang, so gagawin natin d, so magiging siyang d squared minus 10 d plus 25 Labas natin yung y is equal to 0. Then, yung auxiliary equation niya is magiging siyang m squared minus 10 m plus 25 is equal to 0. Then, ang factor niya is, yung factor ng 25, so, bali, dapat dalawang roots yan. So, magiging, it's either 5 times 5 or 25 25 times 1 So yan yung possible factors niya So ang gagamitin natin is Ito, 5 times 5 is equal to 25 Then So negative 10 to So dapat negative 5 Times negative 5 equal to so dapat negative negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25 then negative 5 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 10 so ito dapat so ang factors niya is so negative 5 negative 5 so m minus 5 Saka m minus 5 is equal to 0. Then, equate mo siya sa 0. Magiging siyang m is equal to 5. m is equal to 5. So, dalawang roots. So, ang sagot niya is. So, y complementary niya. Y complementary is c1. So, wala pang x. E raised to m. So, E raised to m is 5x. So, sa C2, magdadag, magkakaroon na siya ng x. x. E raised to 5x. So, yan yung final answer. Andito na tayo sa phase 3 ng homogeneous homogeneous second order linear differential equation so sa case 3 natin kapag ang roots na nakuha natin is complex root so ito yung gagamitin natin so yung general solution y complementary is equal to a raised to ax quantity c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx Meron tayong problem. Solve. Y double prime minus 2y prime plus 2y is equal to 0. So, ano siya? Sec uh, homogeneous siya kasi yung yung mga y double prime is katabi niya yung mga constant saka yung last term niya is to, uh, constant saka y na lang saka kung mga pansin nyo mga wala siyang x so ang next step is yung mga y prime gawin natin d so magiging siyang d squared minus 2d plus 2, tapos inalabas yung y is equal to 0. Tapos yung equivalent auxiliary equation niya, magiging siyang m squared minus 2m plus 2 is equal to 0. So, gamitin na lang natin ng calculator technique. So, ano siya? Second degree polynomial. 
ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, yan yung form niya. Yung a is constant ng x squared. Ano ba yung constant ng x squared? So, 1. Tapos yung b, constant ng x is negative 2. Tapos yung c, constant, oh, c, c is equal to positive 2. So, ilagay natin, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2, c is 2. So, gamitin natin na x1, x2 is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So, familiar, rin, pa, pa, uh, fam, familiar na kayo dyan sa equation na yan. So, yan yung quadratic equation. So, sa calculator technique, dapat sa calculator na technique na gagamitin natin, dapat nasa kung mapapansin nyo ito, ito. So, nakamat yan. Nasa mat. So, mat. Dapat nakakomplex. Mode 2. Mode 2. Ayan. So, lumabas na yung complex. So, input natin yung formula. So, negative. Negative. Recall B. Plus. Sa plus muna. Plus square root of. Recall B squared minus, so, 4. Recall A, recall C. Arrow down over 2. So, wag na natin pakita yung 2. Importante yung mga variable. Recall, recall A over 2A, no? So, negative B plus... So, unahin natin yung plus, square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Tapos, press calc. So, magtatanong ng value ng b. Lagay natin negative 2. a is 1 equals c is positive 2 equals. So, ayan. 1 plus i. One plus i. So yung x two, kung ginawa yung negative, talabas lang yung is one minus i. So x one x two, si kanto one plus minus square root of i. So ang a jan yung a is real. A so yung A, ito yung A, yung real. Tapos yung B, so positive 1. So anong constant ng I? So meron dyang 1 dito, may 1 yan dyan. So ayan, so kukunin nyo lang yung mga constant. Positive 1, saka positive 1. Therefore, yung complementary niya, so, dapat alam niyo yung formula. My complementary is equals to E. Yung A is 1. A raised to X. Quantity C1. Cos. So, yung B is positive 1. So, positive X plus C2 sin X. So, yan yung final answer. Yan yung complementary solution. Next problem. Solve y double prime minus 2y prime plus 6y is equal to 0. So, next step, gagawin natin d. Yung y magiging siyang d squared minus 2d plus 6. 
Tapos sila labas yung y is equal to 0. So yung yung auxiliary equation niya may gives yung m squared m squared minus 2m plus 6 is equal to 0. So dapat sa calculator technique ang form is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So ang a natin, ang a is constant ng x squared. Kaya constant 1. Tapos b is negative 2. Constant ng x, negative 2. Tapos yung c is 6. Punta tayo sa mode 5. Press 5. Tapos press 3. So sa second degree polynomial. So ang A, A is positive 1. So A, so one, press 1 nilang press 1 equals sa ka negative 2 yung B. Negative 2. Tapos yung C is positive 6 equals So ayan eh, 1 plus square root of 5i saka 1 minus square root of 5i So x x1 x2 1 plus or minus square root of 5i So, kunin nyo lang yung A is yung real 1 tapos yung B is imaginary na ito. Square root of 5. Kunin nyo lang yung constant. Tapos, dapat memorize, memorize nyo yung formula. General solution or Y complementary is equals to A raised to A X. So, ang A is 1. Nagigay siya A raised to X quantity C1 cos Yung B is square root of 5, square root of 5, x, plus C2, sine square root, square root of 5, x. So, ayan yung So, ayan na yung general solution ng problem. So, check natin. The complementary is equal to e raised to a x plus c1 cos square root of 5x plus c2 sine square root of 5x. So, tama naman siya.